हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल सी सी राज जी सी कोटा क्लास माई नेम इज़ डॉक्टर राजेंद्र सिंह राजावत एंड आई एम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज कोटा इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ क्लास मेमिलिया एज यू हैव डिस्कस इन अर्लियर वीडियोज and that the most important character of class mammalia is the presence of mammary glands in this video we will discuss about the classification of class mammalia here the class mammalia is sub subdivided into two subclasses you can see here the first subclass is prototheria and the second subclass is theria this one the prototheria and this one the second subclass that is theria prototheria includes the primitive mammals and it includes a single order that is monotremata and the members of the subclass prototheria and also the order monotremata are primitive reptile like oviparous mammals here is a unique character in class mammalia that uh, the members of this subclass prototheria and the order monotremata are oviparous while most of the, most of the mammals are viviparous so this is the unique character of members of class subclass prototheria then uh, the another uh, special uh, character is that they are they have limited distribution and they are restricted to the australian region including australia tasmania new guinea and uh, the neighboring islands so uh, this is the uh, limited distribution of these oviparous mammals uh, that they are limited to the australian region including the australia tasmania new guinea and uh, another neighboring islands then they are mostly terrestrial and may be aquatic as well they are insectivorous they are nocturnal they are air breathing and incompletely warm blooded mammals and the most important character is that they are egg laying mammals that is oviparous the mammary glands are without teats or nipples so the mammary glands are present so they are included in mammalia but the mammary glands are without teats or nipples and the most common example of the prototheria is duckbill that is also known as platypus this is duckbill or platypus and is the scientific name is ornithorhynchus so this is the important example of the order monotremata that is duckbill commonly known as platypus also and the scientific name is tech ornithorhynchus why they are uh, uh, they are called as duckbill because they have a bill like structure duckbill bill means a beak 
so there as a structure which looks like beak so they are known as duckbill then the second example is echidna and also known as spiny anteater and the scientific name is tachygrossus so these are the two examples two important examples of this subclass prototheria or order monotremata duckbill and echidna and these are the connecting links between reptiles and mammals because they are oviparous and primitive reptile like mammals then the next subclass is theria which is again divided into two infra classes that is metatheria and eutheria so again the metatheria include a single order that is marsupialia and the members of this order or this infra class metatheria or order marsupialia are known as pouched mammals this is the unique character of this group that the, they are known as pouched mammals and they are the members are ovo viviparous we can say because they gives birth to immature young ones uh, which is completely developed in the uh, marsupium that is a pouch like a structure on the abdomen of the animal so they are known as pouched mammals uh, the young are born small nagged and blind so they are kept in marsupium and nourished on milk until fully formed thereafter a small young retreat to marsupium for shelter so why they are known as pouched mammals because they are kept in a pouch like a structure that is known as marsupium and developed there fully the example is macropus and uh, it is commonly known as kangaroo the another example is opossum that is didapus and koala and that is commonly known as teddy bear so these are the some examples of uh, so infra class metatheria which includes order marsupialia and these are known as marsupial mammals and the two or three important examples are kangaroo didapus and koala then these are also limited to the australian region so the prototheria and metatheria has limited distribution and they are confined to the australian region the first subclass is oviparous then the metatheria is ovo viviparous we can say ovo viviparous because they give birth to immature young ones which are kept in a pouch that is known as marsupium for some time to be developed fully and nourished there in the marsupium the marsupials are known as 
mouth superior is because of the presence of a pouch that is known as marsupium and they have the limited distribution to the australian region then the class eutheria that is an infra class eutheria actually under the class mammalia this is the class mammalia and this is the infra class eutheria uh, which includes higher viviparous placental mammals including man so uh, this is a universal infra class and the members of this infra class are present everywhere in every part of the world they are higher mammals they are viviparous mammals and they are placental mammals and due to the presence of placenta the young one which is developing inside the womb of the female that is the uterus of the female gets its nourishment through the placenta so are so they are known as placental mammals and they give birth to young ones so they are known as viviparous mammals and the most advanced animal that is man is also included in this infra class eutheria under the order primata so this is the order of man which also includes apes and monkeys and the man is the most advanced animal of this earth so in summary uh, of the this video we can say that the class mammalia is uh, correct is characterized by the presence of the mammary glands which are functional in female and this class is divided into two subclasses that is prototheria and theria prototheria include one order monotremata and which includes primitive reptile like viviparous mammals and these are limited to the australian region there are two important examples first is duckbill or platypus which the scientific name is ornithorynchus well the second example is echidnia or spiny antichord and the scientific name is tachypnus then the subclass theria is subdivided into two infra class the metatheria and the eutheria uh, the members of the uh, infra class metatheria are oviparous the females are oviparous that means they give birth to the immature young ones which are kept in a pouch on the abdomen and the pouch is known as marsupium so the members of this yes uh, so, uh, this infra class is known as marsupials marsupial mammals and the order is marsupialia and the example is ectopus that is triangle opossum that is didelphis and koala that is known as teddy bear then the uh, infra class eutheria include higher mammals that is viviparous mammals that they give birth to your young one, mature young ones then uh, they have a placenta so they are known as placental mammals to nourish the um, growing embryo and finally it includes many orders and the order primata includes man which is the most advanced creation of the animal kingdom in this planet so that's all about the Uh, classification of mammalia into two subclasses that is prototheria and theria in next video we will discuss uh, about the infra class eutheria in detail and thank you very much for 
for listening this video hope you have enjoyed the video thank you